Uh, Kristen Stewart got engaged and made some comment on maybe Howard Stern kind of half jokingly of like, I, you know, I wish Guy Fieri would officiate my wedding uh-huh. uh, in part. And there is actually like a very, I think, heartwarming element to this. Like, I think partly just like irony and, you know, the fucking joke of it. But also uh, Guy Fieri, if you don't know. Uh, is in a lot of ways a pretty stellar human being. Um, He had a sister who was gay who passed away, and in her honor, he officiated 101 gay weddings. Uh, So after seeing that news story, I guess Kristen Stewart was like, I want him to officiate my gay wedding. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then she went on the Today Show uh, and... They were like, so we talked to Guy Fieri and they had like a video clip of him being like, let's do this. Uh, yeah, I oh. just think it's a delightful story. I'm an, uh, a genuine uh, fan of Guy Fieri. I mean, he, you know what? I'm very much team. He does not like, is it partially ironic? Sure. But also like, dude just like owns his life. He created his own like weird little niche brand. Like, by all accounts, like, a very charitable charitable person, like, always, like, showing up to cook for, like, first responders and firefighters when there's, like, wildfires and shit. Like, travels the country and is excited about food and brings business to small businesses. And I don't know. And I'm a fan. And I think the way he talks is delightful and do you, insane. And I love him. Do you think not on some level that Christian Stewart knew that the second she put that out there in the world that he was going to get find out and, and be like, of course, I mean, come, it, it, partially that like Christian Stewart. Probably. I feel like if I was a celebrity, I'd pull that kind of shit all the time. Yeah. Um, and I think I think I also just liked it because it was like, I think two people who got a pretty unjust amount of hate are getting a bit of a like second look of like why were we all so hard on Kristen Stewart right like a lot of it was just like sexist bullshit like I'm not arguing that like the Twilight movies are a masterpiece but I've also heard a very fair argument of like well a I fully believe if someone who has like an ounce of acting talent is like really coming across as as bad and wooden as she was it's like that's also very much a directing and editing issue yeah sure and also, it's like, yeah, she's boring. She was playing a boring character in a boringly written film. People try to people forget that she had a career before Twilight, and everything yeah. comes down to Twilight to the point where even now that um, uh, Robert Pattinson, is, now that he's the new Batman, people are, as a joke were trying to say, well, well let's make uh, Kristen Stewart the new the, the new Joker, as if that was somewhere in any shape near uh, uh, way possible in, in yeah. any unit. There's no way. It would, yeah. For one, it would be so distracting. <laughs> because, uh, like Disney would not want that. The whole the, all the Twilight. Rep- who who has the rights to um, to Twilight? Is it Warner? I think it's one yeah. Of even though they could, even though they could technically get away with it, it's still it's a it's a anyway, nightmare. It, no, and just I, but I also just yeah, people like harp on her for that movie, and then so much of it was just that sexist bullshit. Like she doesn't smile enough on the red carpet. She doesn't, yeah. Like, people were so unfairly hard on this like relatively young person, just like doing their fucking best yeah you can yeah you can tell that like when she's comfortable around you and whatnot you can like this conversation she's having right now she's yeah. she's can be she's very open but at the same but you can tell that she's a very private person and that yeah. whole and that whole thing uh uh where she played that and like you said she played uh pretty much uh <laughs> that the character that she played uh, i find it i found it very boring too but that was the way the character was written or when yeah, was portrayed it's not, her fault, it's, not, it's not it's not her fault and then and then you add that to her obviously being as private it as she she wants she likes to be she wants to be you add that up and then people will just start like well just like what you're saying well, why can't you smile more why are you acting like why, or, or, or assuming that she always has an attitude or something like that like no she, she's obviously a very you don't you don't get mad at all these other actors for being as private as no, there the are bullshit male actors get away with on the grounds of like oh i'm method acting oh i'm this oh i'm that oh i'm just 
Oh, is this about know, Chris Pratt what again? A no, it's just year old. Like, and, 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 and you know, get away, yeah, yeah, and get away with it too. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like Chris. Like I was saying, I was joking earlier. Chris Pratt is back is is back in the news again after um at the his statement uh, of what of what he said. You have I have thoughts on that. But oh, <laughs> I haven't I haven't covered it. If you want to if you want to get into it later, we can. But but no, I agree. I agree with you. I'm I'm looking forward to Spencer. I'm not going to be surprised. I've heard nothing but good things too. If it's she like, gets an Oscar nod, that w- I think that will be the beginning of the end of this whole. Just yeah. it's, it's cool and fun to bash on Kristen yeah. Seward thing. So I think I just liked it because it was like two people where it's just like they get an unjust amount of hate, and that just let them live and let him officiate her lovely wedding and. Yeah. From what you're telling me, he seems Take like a flavor town. I know I nothing can. about him, but but he sounds like a you great know guy. Know nothing about Guy Fieri. I'm not gonna lie, thought he was the lead singer singer of Smash Mouth. No, that's a different guy. That's a different episode. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what he looked. Every time I see him, I think. That, oh yeah, no, they look. They look exactly. alike. Like. I thought that was yeah. him. Uh, but I was like, that can't be him. <laughs> but yeah, I know, I know, I, I know, Godfrey. I've seen him on on TV and whatnot. I've, I've he's got that electric personality. I've I've seen it, but I, I've never and like looked day, into too, it. Like I've watched his shit. He's fun to watch. Like he's an engaging personality. Oh, that was the same thing you said about me. Like oh, you, you, that's your compliment to everybody, isn't it? <laughs> but, but I'll look at I'll. If hey, if that if if, uh, if like I always say, if you like it, I love it. I I res- I, uh, I respect your opinion on it. So I'll I'll start looking into to uh, Mr. Is it Fieri? I, I some people say it like Fieri, but I don't. I won't. <laughs> Guy Fieri. I'm gonna say it like America. Guy Ferrari. I don't think it's even technically his legal name, which like that's fine. <laughs> stage game. His last name is Smith. <laughs> but I'll look at you. Yeah, it fits I'll, him. It works. I'm wishing nothing but good things for uh for Kristen. I, I feel I'm, I'm waiting for this year to be over. I want the I want the Oscars to come and go. I want her to get nominated because I feel like if she does, if even if she doesn't win, I think I think this yeah. is the beginning of the end of that that whole Twilight stuff. I think after this movie drops, I think it's gonna finally be the end of that because it's already happened pretty much for uh for Pat because he so laser focused on his um on those independent films that he did and he, and he was showing the world that like hey remember i can't act I, I like remember who the hell you're talking to i am an actor and he and but it, it's it's taken a little longer for uh for, for people to get over it with Kristen stewart and and, and, to, and pretend like that she couldn't act like they, they like they, they love the joke to the bashing on her joke to last it uh, last longer for her than it did for him well, so it's like how the twilight jokes in general it's just like yeah it wasn't funny after the first like three months of, yeah the like, first sparkle like, yeah they're not good they're yeah not, like what, what? what well here's what it boils down to maybe not the guy fieri thing which i guess is a family name and just googled it so yeah. i just said that but yeah. uh <laughs> No, I feel like so much of the Twilight thing, so much of the Kristen Stewart thing, is people love nothing more than to hate on things that teenage girls like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's weird. It's petty. It's like, yeah, I I didn't love it when it came out and I was in the age group. It wasn't my thing. That's fine. I knew girls who liked it. They weren't blithering idiots for enjoying it. Like, mm. They were blithering idiots for other reasons. but yeah. Sure. Well, they just <laughs> were. But, <laughs> But not this. But they get, shit, well, they get a pass for like a Twilight, but because <laughs> the movies did make the movies did make money. Like, like you said, like, no, like, and grown men being like, "This is stupid." Like, yeah, because it's not fucking funny. It's, yeah, it's not. It's, you're not the demographic. But you're but you're right. I agree with you. This is all. It's all like a metaphorical uh, pulling of the the pigtail of the girl you secretly yeah. like, kind of a thing. That's what we're all now, doing. Now I will say there are to, legitimate complaints and conversations oh, yeah. I think that could be had about the Twilight movies but, and the way they handle. Oh, yeah, on the movies, yeah. But on, but on Kristen Stewart, personally, no. That's Those guys perfect. are just being freaking. Yeah. Yeah. They're just being, they're just doing it just because it became the cool thing to do. Like like hating on Nickelback. So, but you're like it's it's fun to the pile on and just like Kristen Stewart and stuff like that. it's fun to to bash them because of Twilight and stuff. But yeah, people get over it. Get over. It. It's like Brie Larson, Captain Mark. Get over it. They made a billion dollars. Mayor of Flavor Town. Let the man live. I'll I'll let him live. I'll let him live. <laughs> All right. All right. So what are you about to do after all this? Nothing. Like, no, fuck it. I had a hard week. 
I'm going to spend the extra like five dollars to make them deliver this slice of pizza to my. <laughs> you no, know, really, you didn't even go around the corner. In fairness, in fairness, a I didn't have a shit ton of time. Did you between Carolyn leaving and having to set up for this, and also I was just feeling tired, and also the like street to get down there does not have a ton of sidewalk. Right. So. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes. Make sure also, they. It's get... like dark as shit out. Yeah. Like if it was like a normal six o'clock, I would have just gone. But I was like, I'm just a little. I feel like I'm gonna fucking die if I go out there. I'm. Mean, I'm on your side. Hey, you know, I'm. I'm with you. I'm supporting a small business, Chris. <laughs> I am counting the days till Rosario Dawson is on Disney Plus making all of my fantasies come true. And on that note, me to go. <laughs> our supporters help make all this content possible. So make sure you check out our Patreon page so you can help us bring you the content you want. Push the pedal to the freaking metal. I'm turned up just like heavy metal. Yo. up on another level push the pedal to the freaking metal i turned up just like heavy metal Blast.